The transcendental argument for the existence of God tag is the argument that attempts to prove the existence of God by arguing that logic, morals, and science ultimately presuppose a supreme being and that God must therefore be the source of logic and morals. A version was formulated by Immanuel Kant in his 1763 work The Only Possible Argument in Support of a Demonstration of the Existence of God, and most contemporary formulations of the transcendental argument have been developed within the framework of Christian presuppositional apologetics. A notable contemporary defender of the transcendental argument is Roger Scruton. Topic: <transcendental>, transcendental reasoning. Transcendental arguments should not be confused with transcendent arguments or arguments for the existence of something transcendent. In other words, they are distinct from both arguments that appeal to a transcendent intuition or sense as evidence, and classical apologetics arguments that move from direct evidence to the existence of a transcendent thing. They are also distinct from standard deductive and inductive forms of reasoning. Where a standard deductive argument looks for what we can deduce from the fact of x x, and a standard inductive argument looks for what we can infer from experience of x Display style x. A transcendental argument looks for the necessary prior conditions to both the fact and experience of x. Display style x. Thus, I entitle transcendental all knowledge which is occupied not so much with objects as with the mode of our knowledge of objects, in so far as this mode of knowledge is to be possible a priori. Immanuel Kant, Critique of Pure Reason, Introduction, Seven. The argument The tag is a transcendental argument that attempts to prove that God is the precondition for logic, reason, or morality. The argument proceeds as follows. God is a necessary precondition for logic and morality because these are immaterial, yet real universals. People depend upon logic and morality, showing that they depend upon the universal, immaterial, and abstract realities which could not exist in a materialist universe but presupposes presumes, the existence of an immaterial and absolute God. Therefore, God exists. If he didn't, we could not rely upon logic, reason, morality, and other absolute universals which are required and assumed to live in this universe, let alone to debate, and could not exist in a materialist universe where there are no absolute standards or an absolute lawgiver. Cornelius Van Til likewise wrote, We must point out that univocal reasoning itself leads to self-contradiction, not only from a theistic point of view, but from a non-theistic point of view as well. It is this that we ought to mean when we say that we reason from the impossibility of the contrary. The contrary is impossible only if it is self-contradictory when operating on the basis of its own assumptions. Therefore, the tag differs from Thomistic and evidentialist arguments, which posit the existence of God in order to avoid an infinite regress of causes or motions. Topic. See also. Christian apologetics Argument from morality some forms of which are tags Topic References Notes Topic External links Topic Articles Responses to Atheist Philosopher, Michael Martin Derrida, Van Til and the Metaphysics of Postmodernism An Appraisal of Postmodernism, Specifically Deconstruction, in Light of Van Til by Jacob Gabriel Hale. The Transcendental Argument for God's Existence by Michael Butler. The Transcendental Argument for the Existence of God by Matt Slick. Topic. Debates The Great Debate, Does God Exist? Audio listen, download format of a formal debate between Christian Greg Bonson and skeptic Gordon Stein from the University of California, Irvine. The Martin Frame Debate A written debate between skeptic Michael Martin and Christian John Frame about the transcendental argument for the existence of God. The Drange Wilson Debate A written debate between skeptic Theodore Drange and Christian Douglas Wilson. Is non-Christian thought futile? 
A written debate between Christian Doug Jones and skeptics Keith Parsons and Michael Martin in Antithesis magazine, Volume 2, Number 4.